It is hard to watch, but necessary to see. Take a look at this body cam video released earlier this year by the Antioch police after a drug overdose. Officers saving the life of an OD victim. Thankfully, after several minutes of chest compressions and Narcan, it worked. But the problem is growing with deadly consequences. Fentanyl laced opioids being mistaken for safe prescription medication. Joining us live this morning is the Antioch Police Chief Jeff Gutchow to talk more about how his department is trying to get the message out about these overdoses. First of all, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Uh, Chief, your department, like so many around the country, has seen an uptick in opioid overdoses. And we're not just talking about big cities. These are smaller towns and villages. You just had three teens OD over the weekend. H how do you prepare for this? H how do you get ready to handle it? Well, really, with some of these most recent events that we've experienced, it kind of led us to recognize that we have to start having some of these tough conversations with our own community. I think oftentimes, Residents assume that these problems exist in big cities and may not recognize that it's really impacting every corner of the state and nation for that matter as, as these these toxic drugs are being brought into our communities and sold. So really the, the main goal of this video was to start driving home a message that we have to have start having these conversations in our own town. So it sounds like it's twofold. I mean, there's an addiction issue, but there's also uh, the, the distribution of these drugs coming into the community, right? Absolutely. You know, law enforcement has always done what law enforcement does when it comes to the distribution and sale of these drugs. You know, like every other police department out there, we, we vigorously pursue those that are selling these drugs in our community. But we recognize that there's another component to this that's really trying to make sure that there's resources available to those out there that are struggling from substance abuse problems. Um, you know, making sure there's access to Narcan life saving drugs is really as law enforcement, our, our primary job is to serve our community and by helping get this life saving medication out to people. You know, it's just another way we can serve and help people and maybe give them an opportunity to, to get themselves ready to find find help and, and, and get out of get out of the addiction circle. And speaking of that Narcan, we know a lot of libraries have those vending machines where it's available in the unfortunate case of an overdose, but who else needs to be trained in how to administer Narcan? Well, really I think everybody needs to know how to use Narcan. It's there's really no reason not to learn how to use this medication. It's safe. Um, it, it, there really are negative side effects if it's given to somebody that is not suffering from an overdose. You know, in many medical systems, it's become part of a standard protocol for any person that's exhibiting potential signs of an overdose to give. You know, we recently reached out and worked with our high school district to make sure that they have access to Narcan throughout the school, had their administrators trained. It, it really, it's, unfortunately, we've come to a point where anybody can encounter somebody anywhere, you know, whether it's out to eat with your family, uh, in a public park, uh, a restaurant, whatever, where you may encounter somebody from that's, that's experiencing overdose and, and Narcan can save their life. Uh, Chief, I know you continue to mention how you want to get the word out to the, the, the community and communicate about the dangers of ODing, but what about the responsibility of parents? What message are you stressing to parents and families to kind of curb this disturbing trend of overdoses, particularly with opioids? Well, well with, with parents, really, the message is talk to your kids. Um, as we started putting this messaging out, really kind of the overwhelming message we had is, you know, Chief, we never thought to have these hard conversations with our kids. And since this video launched, I've, I've talked to numerous people in our community that's now sparked those hard conversations around the dinner table, talking to kids about how it can only take one opportunity, one pill can kill you. Um, you know, these, these, these kids are getting these medications. They think that they're, you know, legitimate, prescription medications, although they're, they're not using them appropriately, and they may not recognize that they contain fentanyl, and it just takes a small amount of fentanyl to kill somebody. So really the message is talk to your kids, have them recognize the true dangers of these of these medications, and that it can only take, only takes one time to have devastating consequences. Some hard but necessary conversations. Chief Jeff Gutschow from the Antioch Police Department, thanks so much for being with us this morning.